Hi, all right. So I've got this really old Viz Doom uh, video, which gets views sometimes, like more often than my other videos. So it's kind of old. It was like five years old. So I figured I'd like create an up-to-date version. Uh, I haven't used Viz Doom, so I'm just going to be starting from scratch. So you can follow along as I'm surprised at what happens. I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen because I haven't used Viz Doom. Um, for several years right so let's go to the, so um yeah so what is this doom so this doom is it's a version of doom which is a an it's one of the first of fps games that like first player shooter games um like just after was it before or after quake no it was the original right like quake was after doom uh so like there was only like a couple of times in university where I went to breakfast and um, those were both because I played computer games all night and one of those was playing Doom. All right, so anyway, so Viz Doom is basically a Doom game that's been converted into a reinforcement learning environment so we can get bots to play Doom for us um, because that's fun. Uh, all right, so let's go to the website and let's uh, look at um, like running this. So basically the goal is to get as far as having a program probably copied and pasted from the website that is going to run the Doom and we're going to have access to have a, we can we get as far as seeing where we would put a model so that the model can like press different buttons like left, right and shoot. All right, so let's um, Google for this Doom. And um, we go to here. Uh, so it's uh, visdoom.cs.put.edu.pl. And so then we're going to look at um, how we can install this. So it says uh, get it from the GitHub. So let's go to the GitHub. And then um so features open ai gym site as python quick start all right so we need to have all these things installed uh but i'm not using ubuntu i'm using mac right so what if i am using mac uh so we do this brew command uh so let's do this command first uh, so just go to a terminal and we're going to run that. And I'll probably fast forward through time. So that's probably going to, uh, like it, it'll probably jump for you, but I have to sit here waiting for me and you'll have to wait for your own, of course. All right. So downloading stuff, hopefully quickly. And then while it's doing that, so then after that, we're going to do pip install viz doom. So to do that, we're going to have to create a Python environment. So we'll create a brand new Python environment and we'll install into that. Um, so I guess while that's running, we can just create a new window. Um, so, all right, so let's create a Python environment. So I'm using pyenv. Um, I created a script called activate, which just activates it, but you might normally have that in your bash profile or whatever. Uh, so I basically will create a virtual environment for this. So let's do pyenv virtual env, and we'll use 3.8.5, and we'll call this vizdoom. And that should go off and create a, a virtual environment for us. And again, I'll probably fast forward through time on this bit. Okay, so it looks like the brew finished. So it's talking about some stuff, uh, package config. I guess we can probably just ignore that because presumably the instructions uh, would handle that. All right, so we've created our virtual environment. I guess we can just switch back to the other window, right? Uh, all right, so we've got a virtual environment called VizDoom. And we'll use uh, activate to choose that environment. And so now this is showing VizDoom, so we've activated it. And then we're going to do pip install VizDoom, like it says. All 
So it looks like basically it, it's pretty similar to how it was before. Like it has nothing much has changed. So the old version should work just fine. But let's just do this anyway. And then I mean I can always just not put it out whatever. Um, if you wish to use OpenAI environments, install VisDoom with Jim. And then example. So we're using uh, Python. And so, what do we got? Learning PyTorch. So, <coughs> this looks longer than my old demo. Uh, they've actually set up a model and stuff. I just want something really simple. Um, no, we don't actually need PyTorch. What do we have in basic? If name equal main, <coughs> choosing the map, choosing the scenario. <coughs> What's this using? VZD, so yeah, okay. There's a bunch of setup stuff where we're like configuring different options that are available. Okay, so we've got left, right, and attack. Um, okay, we're going to be a player. Initialize the game. Actions. Okay, so we've got, we can do left, we can do right, or we can do shoot. Uh, we can't do those buttons at the same time. At least not here, not the way. All right, and then okay. So then we've got a game loop here. So I guess this looks kind of like what we want. And then it's just got like lots of different options that we can mess around with. Uh, but we could just take this and um, run this. Um, so for iron range episodes, episodes is 10, does new episode while the game isn't finished, then we get the state, uh, here's the things in that state, we create an action, uh, simply by doing like a random, we've just pick a random action using mp.choice, I'm sure the choice is imported from numpy, right, like, let's have a look, from, oh, from random actually from random import choice. Oh yeah, because it's just a list, so we just use random. Oh, okay, and then this returns the reward. Okay. And then we could do something with the reward, but here we're just printing it. Right, so... Screen buff. Yeah, so presumably we could do stuff with this, feed it into PyTorch network, and then we would... Um, give that as an action to the make action. Um, but for now, uh, let's just take the script and then just run this. So, right, taking that. Uh, it's still building the wheel. So um, I guess we can just create a new thing and then we'll do like, and then what's in here? Yeah, all right, so let's just do like test viz gym or something. Um, all right, so, yep, so we got that. And then I remember in the previous one we did sleep, but okay, so we've got this sleep time here, but we can configure that. Oh, here we go. Uh, 1.0 divided by default tick rate. And what's default tick rate? Oh, default tick rate is, um, yeah, right. So we'll probably just set this to zero in a sec. Uh, let's see how the install is going. So I'll probably fast forward through time. Hmm. It's not installed NumPy as a wheel, right? All right, so it's created the wheel. 
and uh, hopefully it's not going to create a wheel for NumPy too. Like hopefully that's it. Oh, so I'm using a, like a MacBook Pro. Oh god, it's building a wheel for NumPy. Do we really want that? Hmm. What if we do um, pip install NumPy first? Uh, what if we do pip install minus u pip first? Okay, and then pip install numpy. Okay, we got a wheel this time. All right, so I, it's probably important to update one's pip first. And then uh, what if we do pip install with doom now? All right, so it's using the wheel that it already built. All right, so that's installed. Uh, all right, so, well, let's just do pip freeze, right? All right, so we got NumPy 1.20.3.0 and VizDoom 1.1.3 and then uh, test VizDoom and let's see what happens. All right, so available buttons, move left, right. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, so it's doing random stuff. It's moving left and moving right. And um, and it's firing. I remember like Doom, you could do more than that, but probably that like, we can enable extra buttons. All right, so let's now take off the sleep. So we're going to change uh, sleep time equals zero point zero, and then. Do we really want? To, so we should let. Do we really want to have like this print statement for every step? Don't think so. All right. So now we just get told like at the end of each episode. So we get the reward for each, and then uh, of course we could use uh, like a PyTorch network or whatever to uh, decide what to do. Cool. All right. Well, if you got this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, put your comments down below. Uh, that what could I do better? What could I improve? What do you want to see? What do you want me to do next? Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, ideally, like subscribe and click like thumbs up. Cool. Thank you very much.